Today, I want to show you this prop replica of Marty McFly's wallet from the Back to the Future movies. I think he took his wallet. Now, I bought this off Etsy for £8 plus £2 postage, which I think is an absolute steal. This item is amazing. So first off, the actual wallet. It's nothing fancy. It's one of those cheap wallets that fasten with Velcro that we have all had at one point in our life, especially in the late 80s, early 90s, I'd say. But there is actually a scene in the movie where Marty takes his wallet out of his pocket and you can see it is actually quite similar to this one. It's red with the uh, black trimming around the edges. So I thought that was quite cool. And the first thing you will notice when we open it up is it's got Marty McFly's driving license right there and it's got Michael J. Fox's picture here and all these details, which I think is quite cool. But that's not all, there's more inside. And like I said, the guy who made this, and I presume he's a guy because he's called Lee when I messaged him, he's actually put an amazing amount of detail into every item in this wallet. And it really is a, a nice little item that I wasn't expecting to find when I was browsing Etsy. So as you take all the other cards out, what are in this wallet, you can see we have his driving license, like I've just shown you. And then we have this Hill Valley High School card. Now, I don't think this was actually in the movie, I think there's a lot of things in this wallet that weren't from the movie, but the attention to detail is stunning on these items, it really is. Here we have Marty McFly's social security number. And we also have a library of Hill Valley card, as you can see there. We have a picture of Marty McFly and Jennifer, and as you can see, it looks like it's been photoshopped, but it's still very, very cool. I'm, I'm, I'm digging this wallet, I think it's awesome. Now, that's not all, there is more. There's more cards in this compartment here. Here we have a concert ticket for the rock band Kiss, and this is very smart. I think it would have been slightly better if it was Huey, Louie in the news, but I'm not complaining. This is still very cool to think that Marty McFly was going to see Kiss at some point. And it only cost him $15, what a bargain. And here we have a Twin Pines Movieplex cinema ticket for Goonies, which I think is very, very cool. Are you <laughs> and another thing I'll add, these cards are all laminated, so you can't actually damage them by taking them in and out of the wallet. Um, they will always be in top-notch condition. And here we have a ticket for the Biff Tannen Museum, which is very cool as well. Once again, laminated. And here we have an employee card for Cusco or Cusco. Um, that is where Marty works in the future, I believe. Ha. Here's my card. And this is quite cool, which you didn't really need to include because it's not Marty McFly's, but we have Doc Brown's driving license as well. And last but not least, we have Doc Brown's business card, which is very, very cool to see. So there we go, all them items already, and we've not even opened the actual main part of the wallet yet. Let's get into that. First of all, we have a voucher for a free can of Pepsi from the 7-Eleven. And this this is awesome. I really, I'm, I'm really digging this wallet. If you're a fan of Back to the Future, getting something like this, you know, that is unofficial, that has been made by a fan himself, is really, really sweet. It's really, really cool to see. It really is. Next, we have a a tidy slip, which I presume is like a detention slip from um, Strickland to Marty McFly for being the slacker. Slacker. And we have the picture of Marty, his brother and his sister. And as you can see, they're already beginning to fade out of existence on this picture. And this is actually printed on actual photo paper. So it is an actual photograph. And here we have an actual poster of the Battle of the Bands audition that Marty actually attends in the beginning of the movie. And here we have another flyer which says save the clock tower. Now the actual flyer is very cool, save the clock tower, Hill Valley Telegraph, clock tower struck by lightning, clock stopped at 10.04. This is very cool, but the actual write up is just gobbledygook, it's just um, copy and pasted some kind of, I don't know, some kind of editorial off something else and copy and pasted, copy and pasted, copy and pasted. So it is gobbledygook, it doesn't read, it doesn't make sense at all, but you're not gonna be looking at that if you've got it far away in a frame or something like that. You're gonna be looking at the headline and what it is. So that is quite cool, I like that. Now what I like about this is that it's a cool replica from the movie. It looks exactly like it did in the movie with all the information of the clock tower being struck by lightning. But if you remember, just before Jennifer leaves, she takes this flyer and writes something on the back of it for Marty. She writes, I love you and a telephone number. And if you turn this round, it's actually got it jotted there on the paper as well. Then I think this is my favourite thing in the whole wallet, 
the flux capacitor drawing that Doc drew when he fell off his toilet and bumped his head. This made time travel possible. Flux capacitor. So as you can see, this wallet is absolutely jam-packed with replicas from the movie. Some not quite from the movie, but others are quite definitely from the movie. And I must say, for £10, you really are getting your money's worth when you consider the amount of work that this guy went to to make all this for £10. It's unbelievable. That's including postage, by the way. The actual cost is £8. So this guy is just making £8 off this amazing, amazing prop replica that I am just so happy that I got hold of. In fact, this wallet is so convincing, I'm not actually sure it's a prop replica anymore. I'm actually convinced that this is Martin McFly's wallet. If only there was some way I could go back to the past and return this to him. Okay, time circuit's on. Flux capacitor fluxing. Well, you're safe and sound now, back in good old 1955. 1955? You're my mom. You're my mom. No, my name's Dave, and like I said, I've, I've got your wallet. But you're... Uh, you're so... Uh, you're so... Thin! Thanks. I've, I've been working out. Where are my pants? Yeah, um, like I said, I've got your wallet. I'm gonna um, get out of here.